Welcome to this Smith & Nephew Digital Education module on Acute Wounds. This forms part of a series of modules you can access to develop your knowledge and understanding around wound care. My name is Kate, Complex Wound Specialist at Smith & Nephew. Today we will be discussing acute wounds. By the end of the module you will be able to define an acute wound and discuss normal wound healing. Wound healing represents a dynamic, highly organised series of events. The process starts with haemostasis, progresses through a destructive inflammatory phase and then a restorative proliferative phase. It finishes with remodelling of the wound area. The normal process can be interrupted at any stage and is vulnerable to a variety of intrinsic and extrinsic inhibitory factors. The ultimate goal of wound management is to minimise the risk of opportunistic infection whilst promoting the development of healthy granulation tissue. Acute wounds are wounds that repair themselves following a timely and orderly healing pathway. This results in both functional and anatomical restoration. The time course of healing usually ranges from 5 to 10 days or within 30 days. There are differences between tissues in terms of time required to complete regeneration. Wound healing time can be diverse and some wounds may take up to a year or more to heal completely. A completely healed wound is defined as one that has been returned to normal anatomical structure, function and appearance of the tissue within a reasonable period of time. Most wounds are usually the result of simple injuries. However, some wounds do not heal in a timely and orderly manner. Acute wounds can be acquired as a result of traumatic loss of tissue or a surgical procedure. Wounds can arise from a pathological process that begins externally or internally within the involved organ. They can have an accidental or an intentional etiology, or they can be the result of a disease process. Acute wounds can be defined in two categories, either traumatic or iatrogenic. Traumatic wounds are unintentional, with some examples being abrasions, skin tears and burns. Medical intervention will sometimes result in acute wounds and these are known as iatrogenic wounds. Examples of these are grafts or IV puncture sites. Acute wounds begin with an injury that disrupts the blood supply, followed by a clotting process which stimulates the release of growth factors that initiate the wound healing cascade. To check your knowledge and understanding, try and answer the quiz questions. Du har nå fullført denne Wound Club Online-modulen fra Smith & Nephew. Hvordan vil du bruke det du har lært i jobben din? Klikk på lenken i forklaringen. Den vil ta dig til full versjonen av denne presentasjonen. Den varer bare i 15 minutter. Du kan laste ned et kursbevis etter du er ferdig. Tusen takk for at du tok deg tid til å ta kurset. Ikke glem å se på de andre modulene for å få mer faglig oppdatering om sår og sårbehandling.